Okay, folks. <laughs> We're off to flying start again this morning. <laughs> ah, who are we going to tackle today? And it's uh, a buddy of mine in there that uh, made me think of it there. Uh, at Calvin's Corner. Uh, he said the... <laughs> He what he's afraid of, afraid. That's that's where the problem starts. It's a treeway, treeway switch. Like uh, you want, you have one light at the ceiling. You have two switches, and you want to control that switch. Most people are stumbled by this. Forget the four-way. That's another topic for another day. <laughs> that's where you have a. Uh, switches and then uh, two at least and then you have some in the middle you could have five you could have ten but that's a topic for another day <laughs> we're gonna tackle this one and I'm gonna try to keep it simple we won't have no fancy diagram first thing you have to conquer is the scare <laughs> scared <laughs> you're scared of what makes this work Treeway, two switches on the same light. You have, I'm gonna show you this on your see the, the screw right here? It's dark. This one here is brass, and this one here is brass too. So your dark one right here, your dark one. And this is always the same. Every three-way switch, okay, it's always the same. Won't have no diagram. I won't show you how to do it. We're just going to walk through this, and I'm going to explain to you. Like this dark screw here serves two purposes in a three-way setup. The way I'm going to explain to you is the simplest way. There's some ways of doing a three-way switch and I won't bother getting into that and it's very complicated and uh, for a beginner you can get lost. Uh, forgive me, I will have a Christmas cheer pickle. I have a, just a warning for my son. If he wants to keep the Chris, Christmas cheer going, I only have two left after this one. So, uh, you know, it's never too late to buy pickles for your old man, eh? <laughs> All right. The biggest trick, just like in motor controls, eh? <coughs> uh, vinegar. <coughs> okay. The biggest trick <laughs> in motor control is intimidation. People get baffled by it, eh? But first, you, you gotta stop and think about it in basics, eh? Like, uh, uh, whatever, w what you need to make a light work is power and a neutral. Okay, so you you have a plug. And a plug, okay, and plug in <laughs> at the bottom there. You got your... You're, the floor is right there, okay, and you're looking at the little guy smiling at you. Power, neutral, and ground. Okay, so you start off from the plug. You come to the switch, okay? That, that's your switch. So, you, you say to yourself, okay, what I need at the light is power and a neutral. What I have in my switch that I brought with two wires... I brought some power, I bought a neutral, neutral in the basics, and I'm saying basics because it could be different in the, some other instances, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about you brought your wires to your switch, so you have a white, that's your neutral. You hook it up, and then from this switch, always bring a tree wire from this switch to the other switch, tree wire. You need that. To make a three-way work, you need three wires. And I'm not talking... 
when we talk about two wire, a two wire has three wires in it. It's got a ground. We never talk about the ground. Okay, excuse me, I'm raising my voice. It's because I know some people always talk three wire and they're talking about the ground. Well, don't talk about the ground. The ground's in there. They, wires didn't used to have grounds and when they changed, they still called it a two wire, okay? Because it's including the ground, okay? So now we have a three wire from one switch to the other. So, you're going to carry your neutral on that tree wire. And which wire do you use to carry your neutral? The white wire. That's uh, known. That's a uh, constant. You always carry a neutral on the white. But there's, like I said, there's different instances where this doesn't apply. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about now we have, we're going to carry. So, <coughs> So we're going to carry the white to the other switch. So now we have uh, the black coming from the plug. Well, that's the known power. So we hook that up to the black screw. They call that the common. Okay, why they call that the common? Because it's common inside the switch and the switch working. I won't bother showing you what it looks like inside there. But this wire is common to this, this screw and this this screw okay both of them depending on which way you rock this switch okay and one way i'll take it from here send it to there the other way i'll take it from there and send it to there all right now you have done this end of the switch now you go to the other end of the switch okay you have a tree wire then you have a two wire going to the light in the light, the two wires is a white and a black. The white, like I said, is neutral. Okay, so you'll have gone through your other switch at the other end and did a joint. So now you have two joints. You got a, a, a the switch at this end. You have a myriad joint at the switch at the other end. You have a myriad joint on the whites, and it's going to your lights. So your lights got a neutral. Now. We, we, we sent the two other wires, okay? This would be on, on the, the tree wire that we're bringing from here to there. We have a red and a black. So those wires, you know what they call those? Travelers. Because either one of them can bring power from one switch to the next, okay? But this is a crisscross type of affair, but for that, you need to understand the workings of the inside of the switch, but we won't bother with that. Don't entangle yourselves in useless information, okay? You got two travelers that bring the power on either one, one or the other, from brass, uh, brass screw to brass screw to the other switch. Brass screw, brass screw, hook up. Same wires, the red and the black, red and the black. So you got your power coming in on your black here. Then your black and red wire hook up on the two other screws. At the other switch, the black and the red wire hook up on the two brass screws. Now you want to bring power to your light. Guess which screw you use? The black one. Because the black one is a common. It's a common between the two screws, one on each side. So your power will be coming in on either screw and within the switch itself will be going to the black. So if I decide <coughs> the switch at the other end is preset, okay? But the light's off. I decide at this end that I'm gonna switch it on. So I change the status of either one, either the red or the black wire. I change the status it was off now it's on, and it there's a cer certain connection made in that switch at the other end that will bring the power from either brass screws to the black screw that brings power to the light. Ha! <laughs> See how simple it is? <laughs> and we didn't even make a diagram. Uh, hang on, I'll have a chunk of pickle. I hope this is simple. It's very simple for me, but uh, <coughs> I work 
worked all my life in this stuff, eh? I mean, uh, housing was not my uh, my forte, they call that. I was in industrial electrical, but uh, that's how I started when I was young and uh, an apprentice, and we learned it in school. So that's it. That's the story. If you have a uh, little bitty questions and uh, I could touch on that uh, just put it in the comment and if this explanation wasn't good tell me <laughs> and then uh, I'll elaborate like uh, I make a uh, I had a, a two two by six thing with all boxes nailed on and I took it all apart and uh, maybe should not have took it apart eh? <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, I'm not saying the next video is going to be on four ways. That's how to control one light or many lights from four, five, six different locations. You can control one or two or ten lights, but from many different locations. And that's with the, what they call a four-way switch. Well, really what you need is two three-ways. This one, <laughs> and then four way switches were a lot more expensive than a three way, but in some instances uh, it comes in handy. Eh? Uh, I'll tell you something, eh? And me, uh, built many houses, that's another topic altogether. But uh, just an instance where I, I use a three way switch, and uh, is uh, I always put. Uh, on either side of the bed, okay, I have, when we come in the bedroom, I have a switch, turns on either the ceiling light or uh, night lamps, okay, and then when you're at the bed, you have a switch beside, it's a three-way, beside either one side or the other, and you turn it off. So, <laughs> you ever <laughs> thought that the very inconvenient you turn the lamp on and you got to go to the lamp to turn it off and you wake back walk back to the bed in the dark and uh, you hit your little toes uh, uh, against the bed frame or whatever uh, bed leg uh, anyways so you have the convenience when you know how to do these things it's easy and it's uh, a commodity <laughs> I don't have the right words there but uh, it's uh, Oh, hang on. Uh, look at something right here. You know what this is, people? It's an axe handle. It's, it's not a true axe handle. It's the pattern. A pattern to make an axe handle. And uh, I am in the future, in the near future. This is over a hundred years old, okay? So I intend on making an axe handle. But I was going to do it this morning, but don't feel like work. I mean, uh, this topic is apropos to some people. And uh, maybe if you're in the wiring stages, well, it'll come in handy. Three-way instead of a single pole. Single pole you can control from one place. Three-way you can control from two places. This is a tree. Okay. Right. <coughs> Hope this helped a bit. And uh, like always, uh, comments are welcome, folks. And uh, if you're not subscribed, well, maybe it's time for you to do the big jump. Eh? But to subscribe, you have to be uh, registered on YouTube. Eh? And some people are afraid of that too. Eh? Uh, a few guys were telling me that. Eh? They're afraid they're getting into a trap or I don't know what. Well, I don't think so. But then I don't know what YouTube does these days. I think I'm not the only one that doesn't know. <laughs> okay, folks. This is it. <coughs> it's the end of the story for today. I salute you all. I hope you understood this one. Because it did could be important uh, if you're doing some wiring and if you're not familiar with wiring they don't get into this just because I showed you because eh? uh, 
it's better left to the people that understand what they're doing. It's not like when you're going to blow a breaker 10 times there. If you do that, then it's time to give it to somebody that knows what he's doing. Hey, salute yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>